Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. Um, so today we're going to start a new series. Um, we'll study ASP.NET, the technology, a very popular and mature technology published by Microsoft. Uh, basically what we're going to do is to follow the official documentation from Microsoft. Um, let's start building a web app called Razor Pages. First things first, we need to have a couple of things installed on your machine before we could do anything, before we could walk through this tutorial. Number one is that you have to have Visual Studio installed on your machine. For me, I'm using a Mac, so I have Visual Studio for Mac installed. Where is it? It's, where is my, okay, so here is my Visual Studio for Mac. Uh, very simple, you just click this link and follow the instructions. Second thing you want to have is to have .NET Core SDK 2.2 and above. How do you install that? Very simple as well. You just click this link and click .NET Core Downloads. It will guide you through everything. And after that is installed, you can see, where's my terminal? Okay. After that is installed, you can click, you can type, uh, open up your terminal. You can type .NET dash dash version and hit enter is going to give you the current version that you installed for your .NET SDK. If you don't have that installed and configured properly, it's going to error out instead of giving you the number, the version number. Okay, so with these two in place, we can get started with our sample app. What we'll do is follow the first command of this, clear this out and following the Tutorial, the first command that we're going to run is .NET new web app dash o razor page pages movie. Let's do that. Copy that and run it. Boom. It, it it's going to initialize a lot of files, scanning them files, and then it's it says it's going to succeed. And then let's see what do we have. Okay, a new project created. Let's go in there. Razor pages movie. Boom. Now we have it. Next since we have Visual Studio installed, we can go ahead and use Visual Studio to open it up. Click open in Visual Studio. So here, navigate to wherever you put your files under on your machine. So for me, I have it directed here. And once you direct it, you navigate to your project folder on your machine, click Razor Pages Movie.cs Proj. This file. Click that and you hit open boom it says restoring packages for solution within a few seconds it's going to be done boom now it says packages successfully restored nice okay cool with those set our next step is to run this dot net run a very simple and powerful command let's do this what this will do is going to it's going to initialize the web app that we just started. It's a very skeleton, simple app, probably not too many functions, but it's going to be fun. It will be our very first .NET app. Boom. Now it says localhost 5001. This is the localhost where we have our app configured. Let's see. Let's open a new tab, localhost colon 5001 boom you see this is the navigation tab home privacy it says welcome and we also have the bottom page over here this looks exactly the same like the one we have on tutorial page beautiful isn't it as simple as that then let's go ahead and take a look what we have we can inspect what we have actually created by simply clicking that command in our terminal. Let's see what do we have in the project. Click the arrow button. Let's see. Um, there are a, a bunch of folders here. First, let's inspect the pages folder. This folder contains Razor pages and supporting files. Each Razor page is a pair of files. One part of the pair is a .cs HTML file that contains HTML markup with c -sharp code using Razor syntax. The other part of the pair is a .cs HTML .cs file that contains c -sharp code that handles page events. 
Supporting files have names that begin with an underscore. For example, if we open shared folder, there are three files that begin with an underscore. For example, let's take underscore layout.cs HTML file. This file configures UI elements common to all pages. It sets up the navigation menu bar that we just saw at the top of the page and the copyright notice at the bottom of the page. Good examples to see. And then let's close this folder, close this folder, we'll continue. There is a www root folder. As you can see, when I open it, there are a bunch of folders and files. It contains all of the static files, for example, HTML files, JavaScript files, and CSS files. Let's close this out. And then at the top level root folder, there is the app settings.json file, which contains the config configuration data, for example, connection strings. And then there's also program.cs file. This contains the entry point of this entire web app program. The public static void main program is residing here. Finally, there's a startup.cs file. This one contains code that configures app behavior. For example, whether it requires consent for, for cookies, etc. Well, this is the very uh, first tutorial that we started to walk through the ESP.NET technology. Um, I hope you guys like it. Uh, if you do, please give me a thumbs up. That means a lot to me. And also hit the subscribe button as we publish more and more videos to walk us through this entire .NET tutorial. Also, please leave me any feedback and comments in the below button, in the button below. We really appreciate your feedback. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial.